Little Richard, outsized founding father of rock music, dies at 87. A wop bop a loo bop a lop bam boom. If early rock and roll sounded alien to mid-50s American pop cultured ears, the opening salvo of Little Richard's Tutti Frutti signaled a full-scale extraterrestrial invasion. Rock's early days were blessed with a profusion of outsized personalities, Elvis in his shock way of generating gyrations, super slick Chuck Berry and the combustible Jerry Lee Lewis, but none as wild as Richard Penniman, who died Saturday at 87, his agent, Dick Allen, confirmed to USA Today. The cause and location of death is unknown, but a 2013 heart attack led to the singer's retirement. After growing up in Macon, Georgia, singing gospel in church and traversing the South singing in rude, nomadic traveling shows, during which time he modeled himself after the flamboyant, gay pianist Escarita, Richard projected a novel, and to some, frightening, figure, a tallish black man in a baggy suit and mascara exaggerated features, radiating unbridled energy and ambiguous sexuality. In a world of neatly quaffed and conventionally attired Perry Comos that was just coming to terms with Elvis Presley, Richard looked positively Martian. Before most people saw the look, they heard the sound, and the sound was overwhelming. Hitting radios at the turn of 1956, ahead of Presley's breakthrough Heartbreak Hotel, Tutti Frutti slathered whoops, hollers and that opening war cry over a frantic New Orleans beat cooked up by specialty records producer Robert Bumps Blackwell. It was an undeniable smash with teens, but so wild and threatening that a competing record label figured there was money to be made with a toned-down cover by a nice white boy. Dot Records was correct, the cover, duly delivered by previous Fats Domino Bowdlerizer Pat Boone, outdid Richard's original on the Billboard Pop Chart, number 12 versus number 17. Boone also covered Richard's next single, Long Tall Sally, but couldn't quite match Richard's frenzied delivery and saw the original peak at number 6, two notches ahead of the cover. Little Richard, a sobriquet he picked up as a teenage singer in one of those traveling reviews, was on a rock and roll. In 1956 and 1957 he placed 11 titles on the pop chart and appeared in three movies, Don't Knock the Rock, Mr. Rock and Roll and the mainstream comedy The Girl Can't Help It, introducing his supersonic vocals and trademark piano pounding, often with right leg splayed above the keyboard, to a wider, awestruck audience. <laughs>